In this video, we are going to talk about themes and the theme workflow and how to implement a theme once we have it from a designer or from someone who has put the design into an HTML page into our PIM core. And for this purpose, we are going to use a theme that we will download from Start Bootstrap. If you don't know what is Start Bootstrap, it's a site where you can download free Bootstrap themes and templates for all kinds of purpose websites, be it blogs or, or portfolios or any dashboards and so on. So I will choose a theme from here and actually chose one. I just wanted to show you how you can get this. I will implement throughout this video the clean block theme here from BlackRock Digital. And I will show you a live preview. It's on their GitHub account, as you can see. And the theme has a few pages and I will explain to you the pages in this lecture. And in the next lecture, we are going to add those pages into our PIM core. Our pages are a block overview page, which is also the home page. And on the home page, we have a header section with a headline and a subheadline. We have a number of posts, and then we have a button to get all the posts, and we have a footer. We have some design elements. For example, uh, the menu is. Um, responsive in, in the sense that it's responsive to our scrolling. And I guess if I am going to resize that window, then the whole thing will become responsive. So once we are on a mobile view, we have a responsive blog website, which we are going to implement into our PIM core. So that's so far from the menu and from the first page, then we have a typical blog page or we have a content page here, which is the about page. Also, we have again, the same header and subheadline in the header, um, in, in the head. And then we have some content and we have the footer again. Then we have a typical blog post, which is pretty much the same, very similar to uh, the content page. We have the actual block content. We have some pictures here in between. Uh, we we don't have any light show in, implemented here, but that's, that's what the designer usually have to do. And we have again, the footer. And then we have uh, at last a contact form, which is again, uh, a header with a headline and a subheadline and the background image and a contact form, a send button and a footer. And that's what we are going to implement in our next lectures. If I go back, I show you how you can download this. It's actually just for this tutorial. If you get a website from a designer, then I expect it to be exactly in the same way presented as I the template that I just show you. So if you go to download, you actually find a, a zip. You can see it on the bottom left corner that it leads to a zip file. And this is what you're going to unpack. And then you have it directly as files in on your hard drive. And those, those are the files that we are going to implement in the next lectures.